Hello everyone, on this tutorial I will explain you the simple differentiation between Terraform and OpenTofu and how you can migrate from Terraform to OpenTofu and also if Terragram is supporting OpenTofu. In brief explanation, OpenTofu is open source project of Terraform, basically it's clone of Terraform. Because of the license change of the HashiCorp on Terraform, OpenTofu is community-based developed project, it's basically replacement of the Terraform. Official website opentofu.org, official github, github.com slash open tofu site from which you can download the binary for almost any operation system if you used to run terraform in it terraform plan terraform apply terraform destroy command on open tofu it's tofu in it tofu plan tofu apply tofu destroy basically exact same as you see same just the name of the binary file just different let's compare execution flow of terraform versus open tofu so we're going to deploy this simple aws elastic ip address and print the elastic ip uh, public ip which we will get Let's see the output of Terraform and let's see the output of OpenTOF. Okay, I will use Terraform version 1.8.3, the latest uh, for today recording. And Terraform in it, this is output. On OpenTOF, I will use version 1.7.0. And we'll, when you execute OpenTOF, you see basically same output, it's just little bit more lines. For example, you see these three lines, it's any additional. Also here you see sign, but basically it's exact same. You see Terraform has been successfully initiated, OpenTOFU has been successfully initiated. Okay, this was init command. Let's see apply command. Terraform apply, yeah, it's going to create this resource. You just type in ks and it's creating this resource and it's outputting. OpenTOFU, exact same. As you see, it's line by line, exact same output. Just instead of Terraform here, here, and here, it's just writing open tofu, open tofu, open tofu. As you see, the user experience is very, very similar. Okay, now let's see destroy command. Terraform destroy looks like this. Open tofu destroy looks exact same. Exact same. Again, instead of Terraform here, here, and here, it just will write open tofu here, here, and here. As you see, it's exact, exact same. You will not see basically any difference. Now, how do I migrate from Terraform to open tofu? It's very simple. First, you need to execute Terraform init command to basically download all the providers, Terraform apply, and make sure you're receiving this output. So no any changes, so that means your Terraform state, remote state or local state is updated and no any changes needed. Next, execute tofu init and execute tofu apply. If you didn't use any like super new function or some new, new newer features of Terraform, you should receive this output. Basically, it's the same output. There's no any changes needed. Just here it's Terraform and here it's open tofu. Straightforward, it just out of the box should support your Terraform files. And what about Terragrant? If I'm using Terragrant for this, Terragrant, yes, support open tofu. And you see on the web, uh, official website, they have table with supported tofu versions. How it's working when you execute Terragrant command, it's check, do I have Terraform binary file? If not, it will try to find if I have tofu binary file. And now I'm going to show you some simple demo, a simple like project to create web server on AWS. We will deploy it using Terraform and we will migrate to OpenTofu and we will migrate back to the Terraform. OpenTofu, here's the official website, some supporters and I'm one of the supporters. And here's the link to the GitHub and here are the releases from where you can download any binary. And you see it's just really 12 hours ago published and here you have just click here like for any versions if you're using windows for example scroll down here you have a zip file where the binary file tofu.exe is located if you have ubuntu so it's a linux uh, amd64 just download it and also you will have only binary file over there all right let's close this what we're going to deploy it's very simple project, you see one main.tf file and what inside this file, it's just very simple. We're just deploying web server, we're deploying AWS instance, very simple. And we're executing these four commands on the bootstrapping, basically to install Nginx, start the Nginx and just enable it. So on the reboot, it will start automatically. And we're creating security group with inbound port 80 open for the web server and outbound all ports open. That's it. And we want to print out the public IP address. That's it. Very simple, straightforward. So let me put it here. And let's check which versions I have. Terraform dash dash version. 
Okay, and let's see which Tofu version I have. Tofu, the latest one. Okay, all good. So let's deploy it using Terraform. Terraform init. Terraform apply. Nothing new here if you know Terraform. It's really straightforward, exact same. And it's done. Here's our IP address. And you see this is the files which is, was created. The most important is Terraform TF state, where the state is uh, stored. Inside the dot terraform folder we have providers, registry terraform.io, HashiCorp, AWS, version, MD, and here's our provider. Okay, so I deployed it using Terraform. Now let's execute again Terraform apply just to see that we don't need to do anything. Terraform don't need to change nothing and our state is updated. Yeah, you see everything. Oh, good. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, good. Okay, let's migrate to Tofu. So we're going to execute tofu init and let's execute tofu apply. As you see, it's reading the remote state file and nothing needs to be done. Basically everything, oh, oh good, oh good. And let's go to the Terraform uh, folder, see what is inside. Providers, as you see, registry open tofu, HashiCorp, AWS version, and here is it. It's the same, exact same file. Everything same, no any changes. What if when you execute tofu apply it showing you I need to make some changes? Oh my god! So we just want to roll back. I need just roll back. So how to roll back? Very simple. Form init. Oops, my mistake. Terraform, terraform init, and terraform apply. Basically move, moving back. That's it. If you're not using on Terraform some like newest, you know, functions, newest features, open to for supporting all this stuff. As you saw, I'm using Terraform version 1.8. What is it? Version 1.8.3. And that's it, I think. So I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your migration and your deployments.